So views have been kind of low lately, so I'm going to be doing a full review of the Tower Defense Simulator Solar Eclipse update and event. I'll divide this in three sections, the non-event content, the event rewards, and then finally the four nights. And when it comes to the non-event content, well, there's not really much. Looking at the change logs, we have the new lobby, Scout, Hunter, and Shotgunner reworks, some minor zombie animation changes, more setting options, and cast trails. Now, if the rewards are good or bad, that's all subjective, but the skins are definitely high quality, and so are the emotes. Although, admittedly, I'm not too big of a fan of them. The issue with the emotes for me is that they're all item emotes. For the other post-hardcore events, we had like one item emote, and for here, all of them were item emotes. Now, for my personal opinions on the specific emotes, I found Torchlight to be pretty boring. Axe was alright, but it could have been used pretty creatively, like throwing it at a boss when it's about to die, or this. Although, Candy Throw is my personal favorite because of its particle effects, but that's basically all it has to offer. Although before we move on to the event tower, I do want to add that they remove the event skin crates, which I definitely approve of. Now, TDS removing crates isn't too much of a change because there's only a set amount of crates and they're all duplicate protected, but it does add more value to the later tier skins and just removes the RNG. But anyways, now we're going to be talking about the event tower and the executioner is a pretty good tower. The boomerang gimmick is pretty cool, but it definitely reminds me of the BTD6 boomerang monkey. And even the bounce is like glaive ricochet. On the topic of similarities, <coughs> Clash Royale Executioner. <coughs> okay, so now for the night system itself, and to be honest, I'm still not sure what to think about it, because while it does pace out the event, that's also kind of a con because you have to wait longer if you've already beaten the night. But I will say that the statue system is pretty cool. Night 1 was admittedly pretty underwhelming. Now, don't get me wrong, I totally get why it felt that way, as Paradoxum had to work on 4 nights, and you can definitely tell the difference between the first and the last. But uh, yeah, Night 1 just reused enemies from previous Halloween events. Now, the Jax remodel is cool, and Pumpkin Treading is an absolute banger, but overall, this night's just alright. Now, Night 2 is definitely a large improvement from Night 1. We have new enemies, including Groot and a big furry. But look, honestly, there's not really much to say. It's better than its predecessor, but there's still nothing crazy about it. Night 3 was essentially just a better version of Night 2. It had more waves, it was harder, and it had more new enemies. But my only significant issue was that it was the night with the most difficulty spikes. Like the second wave of pikes, the ghosts, the vampire bats, the zombie horses, and penumbras. Now, Night 4 is a real step up. All the previous nights combined can't compare. We have a pretty detailed map, even more new enemies, some variants of the previous ones, we have mini bosses like the Headless Jacks and the Two Servants, we have the Umbra watching from a distance, with the lighting going dark for the final wave, and also voice acting. Speaking of voice acting, the dialogue included added a lot more personality to the bosses. And while the structuring of the dialogue was all basically the same, the way they delivered it was reasonably well executed in my opinion. Jax was cocky and arrogant, Swamp Monster was vague and intimidating, I'm gonna be honest, Swamp Monster was pretty basic. Penumbras, uh, well let's just say the community definitely said their opinion on him, and for Umber was also basic, but Bethy and whoever edited the audio did an outstanding job, so it does balance it out. Now for the conclusion, and I gotta say, it was a pretty damn good update. The night system helped maintain hype throughout it, the difficulty was well done with it being pretty gradual, so basically anyone could participate. The rewards weren't half bad, the soundtrack deserves a Bloxy, and Night 4 was honestly just an amazing example that while the devs are slow to update, when they do update, it's pretty spectacular.